Hello, welcome to another walk around video. Uh, this time of the rear uh, engine compartment. The lid on the engine compartment is actually uh, aluminum, as is the panel that goes behind the license plate here and these two bumper overriders. Um, those aluminum parts actually save a fantastic amount of weight off the back of the car. It's in the order of, I can't remember, it's 25 pounds, something like that. The aluminum lid is very, very light. It's lighter than fiberglass. A lot of people don't realize that, but um, the weight savings is significant. If you can find an aluminum panel and don't mind paying the extravagant premium that comes with it, um, you end up with a panel that is much lighter than fiberglass. Unfortunately, they're very soft and easy to dent. And this one has several um, small dents. I don't know that you call them dings or what, but uh, you know they're there. And just maybe kind of a reminder of uh, the fact that it's not a steel panel. The engine compartment has been simplified as much as possible so that there isn't um, an excess of wires or hoses or ductwork or um, in this case uh, sound insulation blankets um, I've tried to reduce like every other part and system on the car just reduce it to what makes it uh, pure 911 and what is necessary to um, give you the best driving experience without adding or uh, insulating you from it. Uh, that being said, the car is not a stripped out hot rod that um, sort of sounds like you're riding in a tin can. It has sufficient sound deadening, particularly, you know, on that rear panel um, that it is enjoyable to ride in. It sounds fantastic, but it doesn't sound too loud. Um, uh, the the sound deadening that's in there is is hidden so that you can still see the white paint finish of the firewall um, and the engine compartment is a wonderful place to display what is the heart of the car this fantastic MFI power plant thanks for watching